church elder to this very special evening here at our church. We're delighted that you are here and we're here for a concert, a dedication concert for our Steinway piano that we acquired this year and we're dedicating that tonight for Don and Cheryl DeYoung. So we are so excited for this concert. This is in part, it's part of our celebration that we're doing for our 150th anniversary as a church. And so we will have more celebrations coming up in the fall. We're planning a weekend in November where we can dedicate our new building that uh, will definitely be open by then. And also a organ concert and organ dedication as well, continuing our church anniversary celebration. Refreshments are available back there on both sides, so please help yourself throughout the concert. We have plenty of refreshments available for you. If you do need a restroom, they are, are out in the hallway near the front door on the left. But we do ask that if you do need to get up, just please wait until the piece has ended and people are clapping. That's usually a good time to get up and move around. Mr. Ryan has graciously agreed for us to live stream this concert. So we will have this concert archived on our YouTube channel. And unless you want your phone ringing to be broadcast and archived on the internet, I would just gladly encourage you to silence your phones now. And that way we don't have to worry about any of that. In fact, you better check that as well, yes. So I do want to uh, start by introducing Mr. Ryan and Donald Ryan. The biography is there printed in your bulletin. You can see from his biography that he is an exceptionally gifted musician that has played all over the world and received numerous uh, accolades and awards and degrees. And so we are so grateful that he is here to uh, to dedicate, this concert, to dedicate this piano for us tonight. But I also want you to know that in addition to being an exceptionally gifted musician, Mr. Ryan is also gracious and humble and kind, characteristics that we desperately need in our world. He loves to play the piano. Anytime I called him or Stephanie would call him, he was typically already at his piano playing something that day. As you will hear, he plays with warmth. He plays with also a complexity that honors the many different styles of music, including classical, jazz, and ragtime. We've asked Mr. Ryan to be here tonight to dedicate this piano and to show the diversity of what the Steinway piano can handle, all the different varieties of music. And so without further ado, I ask you to help me welcome Mr. Donald Ryan.
Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, this is a, a delight being here. As uh, Pastor David mentioned, I do enjoy playing the piano, have done so all my life. Uh, it's some of my earliest memories. Uh, and I'm a PK, I'm a preacher's kid. And my, uh, our denomination, our congregation, we didn't have an organ at the time, it was just a piano, and I would sneak into the church uh, I found out very early which key unlocked the back door. <laughs> and we lived very close to the church, so I would go and play. And uh, then when they started me on piano study and I had to practice, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I was one of those. Uh, but anyway, it is a delight being here. What are you going to hear tonight? Uh, when it was mentioned, some uh, classical, ragtime, jazz, and uh, some of this, what you see in your program that has Ryan next to it, it, it that's my arrangement of the songs. Uh, like this one was, um, Oh Come Let Us Adore Him, and Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee, that I just called Adoration. There'll be some straight classical from the books, the Chopin. You will get the uh, ragtime straight from the books. Uh, oh, you're going to hear your own delightful Stephanie Harden sing. I just got to hear her this afternoon. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and then you'll hear some jazz, like now.
Thank you very much. Scott Joplin, hard to beat. Uh, the maple leaf rag, which was what pretty much set him, almost set him up for life in income. Uh, not that he made all that much money from it, but it was paying him dividends and his heirs dividends uh, for a while because he was, bless his heart, uh, fortunate enough to get a contract on that, uh, on that maple leaf rag, whereas uh, a lot of people, a lot of composers at the time, rag composers, uh, did not. And once the first print was gone, then they got no more money from it. Anyhow, Joplin was able to, and um, I, I delight playing Joplin because he, uh, his keen sense of voice leading, okay, I'm going to get geeky here, but uh, the, the voice leading especially and form, I, it just very much appeals to me. Beauty also, as you will hear in this one, I think this is probably one of the most beautiful things he did, Solace, uh, subtitled A Mexican Rhapsody. And uh, I'll play that and then play without uh, any further comment, The Cascades. The Cascades was written, inspired by the St. Louis Wolves Fair of uh, 1904, it was, I believe. It, uh, there was a demonstration of man-made fountains. That had not been seen before. You have to go to places like Yellowstone to see that kind of stuff. And here, uh, by dint of electricity, somebody could create it. We see it all over the place now, you don't think about it, but uh, that was big, big, a big deal at the time. So, the Cascades preceded by Solace.
Thank you. Now, don't you wish you had kept up your piano lessons? <laughs> you could be doing this, you know? This, this is lots of fun. Thank you again for coming out and for having me uh, do this uh, dedication, dedicatory event. Chopin. Chopin and I go back a long way. Ever, ever since I recall listening to classical music uh, in Trinidad and Tobago, if you, I think, it, does it say that in the program? If you're wondering about where this accent comes from. You remember the Uncola guy on television? Jeffrey Holder? That same accent. Uh, didn't make as much money as he did, but uh, uh, yes. In Trinidad and Tobago, I, ever since I started listening to music on the radio, uh, there was a lot of Chopin played. And I fell in love with his harmonic treatment, with his melodic treatment, the colors, or, or just about anything that I could understand about it, I loved. And uh, even tried you know, imitating Chopin in, in some of my own creations. But here are uh, three Chopin numbers. The last of which, let's see, what, how's my time going? Ooh, well, all right. The, the last of which was one given to me, well, she didn't give me the music. She gave me a recording of it on a, my, by my piano teacher at the time. Uh, because I was, I was an awful student. I did not practice. I could, you know, I caught on like anything. Uh, you know, took to piano music like a duck to water, but practice? No, my friends were outside, you know, on roller skates, pitching marbles. Remember those marbles, man? That was the thing to do. I'm old, I know. Uh, and, you know, having fun playing soccer, playing cricket, and I had to be inside at a piano, pushing buttons. So uh, she gave me this piece, uh, or the, a recording of it, and I thought, uh, I have to learn to play that if it's the last thing I do. If it kills me, I will learn to play it. So I'm playing it, it's killing me, but uh, you know, it, it's okay. Uh, one, the one before that, that's the, the uh, etude in C sharp minor, the last of the Chopin set. The one before that etude in E major is one very well known and loved, lyrical. And the, uh, the waltz in C sharp minor is something that I, that's one of the first pieces of Chopin's music that I actually learned and couldn't get through it all the way, but at least I got the first eight bars badly, but it inspired me to keep learning it. So, here is Chopin.
Thank you very much. Yes, it is killing me. <laughs> uh, which, interestingly enough, um, I had the, the, the uh, not so good sense to open with that at the Chopin competition. Uh, my first hearing in front of the, in front of the jury and audience in uh, 1975 in, Pol in Poland, in Warsaw, I opened with that thing. <sighs> Newbies, you know, what can we say? Uh, I would like to bring up a friend of yours, esteemed colleague, Stephanie Harden. Please welcome. <laughs> and Stephanie, you tell them anything you want to about this while I get my music in place. Um, so I'll be singing three songs. Um, first, we have a song uh, by Jason Robert Brown. He's a com I don't know if I'm allowed to call composers from when I was in college contemporary anymore. I don't know where that cutoff is. But um, <laughs> he's more contemporary than, than uh, Joplin or Chopin. Uh, so <laughs> uh, but he, he composed music in like the, the 1990s and the early 2000s. He still writes music now. Um, and this is from a, a musical that's a little less of a play musical with a storyline and more of like a cycle of songs. And this particular song is about someone who pretty much gets everything that she wants, uh, but realizes eventually that she has, uh, she'll never have anything that she really needs. Um, so it's, it's kind of deep. <laughs> I like it, uh, but I, I've loved this song for 15 years. I really like it, so.
who had retired at age 30, set for life. I met a man and didn't know which stars to thank. And then he asked one day if I would be his wife. The next two songs don't really need a huge introduction. The first one is um, the trolley song, which you'll recognize as made famous by Judy Garland and Meet Me in St. Meet Me in St. Louis. There was probably like a five-year period of my life where I just watched that movie on repeat. Um, I still I still watch it if it comes on the streaming services, which it doesn't usually. It would, I just which makes me upset. Um, and then we're gonna segue straight into. Um, I mean, you can see it in front of you, but you know it. Another one made famous by Judy Garland. Um, and so this is Trolley Song and Over the Rainbow. With my high starch collar and my high top shoes and my hair piled high upon my head, Started to go, I started. 
sings here every, she sings here every Sunday morning, just in case you want to know where to hear her again. I'm sorry. Go ahead, David. We, when we announced the concert, we gave you a time frame of about an hour to hour and 15 minutes. Mr. Ryan said, well, if, if things are running long, I can take the Gershwin out. No, and so, Uh, just know if you do need to leave or if you want some refreshments or restrooms, then make yourself at home while we continue with the program. All right. Okay, the Gushwin stays. <laughs> Thank you, whoever said that. Uh, oh, beautiful, beautiful Stephanie. Oh, terrific. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I get the chance every once in a while to meet some terrific people. Uh, one of the composers of, uh, yes, he did the lyrics, I think, for the musical film uh, Meet Me in St. Louis, St. Louis. Sorry, there's my Trinidadian coming out again. It was Ralph Blaine. Ralph Blaine, you know, I have been living in Oklahoma for the last, oh my, oh my, oh my, 50 plus years. I came to college and never did get far away from Oklahoma. Uh, and Ralph Blaine is from Oklahoma, is a sub, from a sub, suburb of Tulsa called Broken Arrow. And I got to know Ralph, uh, and, and we weren't great friends, but always a welcome acquaintance, welcome sight when I saw him. And I used to play in a restaurant, and whenever, he also, in this musical also was the Christmas song, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Yeah. and. Whenever Ralph would come into the restaurant, I would play the song. It could be July, it could be an August day like this. <laughs> he was hearing it. And one day, he, one day he was leaving and he said, Don, I want you to know, that's the best rendition of that thing I have ever heard. Man, you know, that's a very popular song and everybody does it. So I said, Ralph, you could lie like that to me anytime. But it was, uh, you brought back good memories to me too. Thanks again, Stephanie. Okay, here's Gershwin.
Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Which brings us to the last two things. By the way, I, I will mention, if you are still into CDs, I do have CDs for sale. I don't have anything streamed, so uh, it's just the old hard disk right now, but uh, we do have some available on the table outside. Um, that, what I just played, was on one called The Sweetest Sounds. Um, most of what I, the classical, I do not have recorded, um, but almost everything else is. So, didn't think about that. But what, what luck you are in. <laughs> uh, what luck I'm in. Uh, as I said, I grew up in church, playing in church in Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad, that I island in particular. And one of the things we did was, at least that I had to do, was create my own, what we call a special music. And these last two numbers are examples of that, as was the first one I played. Uh, the Psalm Variations is on a well-known, more recent uh, setting by Marty Nystrom uh, on the psalm, As the Deer Panteth. It's is in very straightforward theme and variation format, and I hope you like it as much as I do.
Thank you very, very much for that, your appreciation of that number and for being here this evening. I'd like to thank Pastor David Ivey for having me in to do this. I love playing these beasts. This is, uh, I think this is where, you remember in, in the movie uh, Chariots of Fire, when, uh, what was his name, oh, for heaven's sake, uh, the, the hero, um, oh my lads, Eric Little, that's his name, uh, who was an Olympic athlete and then uh, went to be a missionary in China, where he died eventually, but he said he ran because he felt God's pleasure. Takes all, all kinds, doesn't it? When I run, I feel anything but God's pleasure. <laughs> uh, but uh, when I play, I feel God's pleasure. Here, I'd like to close with two of the, I think, the greatest praise songs ever written. Uh, to God be the glory, great things he has done. So loved he the world that he gave us a son. Uh, words by Fanny Crosby. The melody is by William Doan. And one from, that came from Sweden by Stuart Tyne. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have, have made, how great thou art. So it's a, I guess we used to call it a medley. Now they call it a mashup. But this is. <laughs> Uh, this is what it is. Thank you again for the honor of playing for you. <laughs>